And getting back to Cash for Clunkers, we have brought you many glowing reviews of this program, but some people are taking major hits because of it. Correspondent Adam Housley explains from suburban Los Angeles. It's pretty bleak. It's pretty bleak. Rightway Charity Services in Sun Valley, California, turns thousands of donated cars into money for local food banks, homeless shelters, and boys and girls clubs. They say the recession put a dent in donations. They're down 30% from last year. You know, people are very leery to donate their vehicle. They're holding on to what they have and fixing the cars that they have. Now, Cash for Clunkers has really put the brakes on, putting charities third in line. Charities can offer a tax write-off of as little as $500 next spring. That just can't compete with Cash for Clunkers, handing out up to $4,500 towards a new car right now. In this tight economy, economic time I thought I could might, I might as well get as much help as I can so yeah I have thought about doting but unfortunately I do need a vehicle for myself repair shops and parts stores are also hurting as some customers trade in clunkers instead of fixing them and some economists worry all this may be a drop in the bucket my only concern is what happens when the program expires which is going to be soon um, do sales go back down? And they very well could. Uh, this is sort of an artificial stimulus. The latest IRS figures show 300,000 cars like these were donated to charities back in 2005. While cash for clunkers may be a shot in the arm for auto dealers, charities that rely on these cars say Uncle Sam has put them on life support. In Sun Valley, California, Adam Housley, Fox.